This segment is brought to you by the Colorado State Fair, August 26th through September 5th. The Colorado State Fair, it's a party. This episode of the RMAC Showcase is coming to you from Colorado Christian University in Lakewood. We're now joined by the president of Colorado Christian University, Mr. Bill Armstrong. Bill, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. I've been looking forward to it. Uh, Bill, uh, you have quite a history before your uh, taking over as CCU president, just so our viewers are familiar. You served in the House of Representatives from 72 to 78. You were then elected as one of the two U.S. Senators from Colorado, where you served for 12 years before retiring. You went, then went into private business, among other things. You were the chairman of Oppenheimer Funds. And then in 2006, you became the president here at Colorado Christian University. I did. What were some reasons for that? Well, it... it uh... It came as a huge surprise to me, and I'm sure it probably did to others. In fact, I have often thought that my election as president of Colorado Christian University proves that God has a great sense of humor, because I'm such an unlikely prospect for it. In fact, when I was approached about the idea, uh, I heard a voice in my head. You ever hear an inner voice? Absolutely. That inner voice said to me, what an honor. What, what, a, uh, what a wonderful thing. Do not do this. Do not do this thing. Uh, because it seemed so far-fetched to me. First of all, because I was kind of at the wrong age. I was 69 then, uh, and I thought that was a few years older than a president would be. In fact, I said to the trustees, how do you explain to the world that you're replacing a 62-year-old retiring president with a 69-year-old president, and how do you explain that you're going to replace a distinguished scholar with a broken-down old businessman? And they said, well, we can explain it. And so after a, lo a lot of thought and a lot of prayer, and actually, after, after God spoke to me in a, in a very convincing way, uh, I realized he was calling me to do this. And uh, in, in preparation for it, I came out to the university and I talked to a lot of people. And I literally said to them, you know, there's a rumor going around that I might be the next president of the university. Chances are cooler heads will prevail, but just in case they don't, I'd like to learn a little. And as I learned more and more about CCU, I was familiar with it anyway. But as I learned more and more about Colorado Christian University, my enthusiasm, my excitement mounted. And so I said, great, uh, let's do it. And it has been a truly exciting experience. Now we're interviewing you here in your office on the CCU campus in Lakewood, but there's also several satellite campuses. And I know enrollment's really been boosted the last few years. Uh, what are some reasons for that? Well, there's several reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, we, we occupy sort of a unique niche uh, in higher education in that we're the only evangelical uh, institution of higher education in a multi-state area. So on our traditional campus, uh, we bring uh, students in literally from all over the country. A little over half, about 55 percent of our students, come from outside of Colorado. They come from Massachusetts, Oregon, California, Florida, and every place in between. And then we have a large and growing adult and graduate program that, that is located in Loveland, North Glen, Grand Junction, Inverness, and Colorado Springs. And uh, the last uh, number I saw was that we have 3,592 adult and graduate students. And of course, the, the, the adult and graduate program just fills this terrific need uh, of people who are working men and women. Many of them, almost all of them actually are married. A uh, great many of them have uh, children. In fact, we had a case a couple of years ago where I had the privilege of uh, congratulating and conferring a degree on a mother whose daughter was graduating the same day, and they both graduated at the same time. So, so we're filling a, a, a unique and, and very important uh, a need in the uh, community and, and, and really a national need as well. And looking around campus here, it, it, somewhat landlocked here in Lakewood, and I know uh, you talked about the satellite campuses uh, all over the, the state of Colorado, the Front Range. What kind of uh, vision do you have for the future of Colorado Christian? Well, for our campus, um, our, our, our locations around the state uh, are just perfect. For our main campus here in uh, Lakewood, uh, our hope is that we can expand this uh, campus. We're going to do one of two things. We'll either uh, increase our, our acreage and increase our capacity here in Lakewood, or if we are unable to do that, then we're going to have to move someplace. I have looked at, uh, I feel sometimes like I've looked at every piece of vacant ground in uh, North America. I have literally looked at 46 different pieces of uh, property. But, but the more we look at it, the more we think, Lakewood is our home. We like the city. We like Jefferson County. Uh, we're well located for uh, access to downtown Denver, to the mountains. And so 
we are looking very seriously at how we can uh, can actually overcome some problems that we have and, and rebuild this campus. Now, I know you're a big sports fan because we've been here for some CCU basketball games and you like to sit front and center for those games. Kind of a dangerous place, but that's where my wife and I like to, to sit. We, we, we have a, a, a small event center. And so when you sit on the front row of the bleachers, you're not 10 or 20 feet back from the court. You're about 18 inches back from the court. And a couple of times I thought somebody would crash into it, but it is so exciting to be able to literally sit there and you're part of the time you're as close to the players and the officials as I am to you right now. And it's, I mean, you can hear it, you can see it, you can hear their shoes squeak on the floor. It's exciting. Now this is our season in review episode. Do you have some, uh, Fond memories, I guess, from the past year as far as CCU athletics. Goes. Well, we we had it. We, uh, we had a great uh, year. Uh, we're looking to the future, but when you when you look back at, at what's happened, uh, God has blessed our teams. Uh, and you know, as I think about, for example, our, our men's basketball program, or our women's basketball program, or our volleyball program, uh, these are fine athletes, but they're fine young men and women too. I mean. Uh, we, we think we have the right perspective, and it's one reason why we feel so good about the RMAC and about D2, is that uh, uh, our athletes are students first, and we're trying to, to produce and trying to nurture uh, well-rounded, talented young men and women who have the capacity for education and for leadership in the future. And the athletic piece of that is so important because it's clear that the experiences they have uh, on the soccer field or on the basketball court or wherever it may be, uh, plays into that in a wonderful way. I mean, it, it's a part of, uh, an important part of their preparation. So uh, uh, we're, we're very, very excited at what we're doing. And, and, and some people, when I tell them that we're a, uh, a Division II team and that we're part of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, they just can't believe it. But I say, well, aren't you playing against a lot of uh, bigger teams? And I say, yes. And we win a lot, too. So it's... Uh, I guess we really do believe at, at bottom that it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. But we like to win, too. That is Bill Armstrong, president of Colorado Christian University.